We're up to lucky number 13 of what the F is that doing in the junkyard. This week, it's an all AMC Pacer edition. Let's go to the yard. Okay, here's some what the f -ry that actually hits uh, really, really to the heart. It's a 1976 AMC Pacer. Yes, and you know I'm a Pacer guy. It actually just popped up out here at the uh, yard yesterday. Someone already grabbed the uh, front bumper and the uh, lenses off the front. Headlight doors are there, which are kind of hard to find. So are these grills. And the hood, it's a little bubbly, but not too bad. Uh, surface rust. Those tend to rust down in here. Um, and coming over here, it's like I already grabbed the paster badge and the uh, remote mirror, unfortunately, which actually I did need that. Uh, radiator's still there, which is amazing because usually they like use a crowbar to like yank those out. I might grab those just to have an extra core. Um, it's like it's a, uh, I think this is a 232. I'm going to check. It might be a 232 or it's either a 258. This one, according to here, oh, it's a 258. So I'll probably grab the carburetor just to have a spare one. Um, just checking this thing out. I mean, God, this thing was clean. I mean, this thing's probably about as clean as my red wagon. I mean, I'm really amazed it wound up out here. It still has the original AM radio in it. Um, still has the uh, wheel covers, tail lights. This one's actually cracked, so that one's no good. Unfortunately, those are kind of hard to come by. This one is usable, so I'm going to grab that. Um, her bumper's there. And let's go over here. We'll open the door. Still has the wheel covers in it. Um, shows 55,000. Uh, let's say, looking at the uh, brake pedal, I would say the uh, 55,000 is correct. It's automatic transmission car. Dash is like perfect. Headliner's perfect. Uh, oh, look, the guy. Ripped it apart, unfortunately, for the uh, ripped apart the door panel here for the uh, remote mirror to get it out. Unfortunately, I think it's still okay. Looks like the other door panels there as well, so I need to grab those because that's those are impossible to find. Um, lots of good stuff on this car. Really sad to see it at a yard because this thing was definitely savable. It's probably as nice if not nicer looks like when it got here than my red one it's dented here but that's probably from the forklift i said whoever junked this thing really really messed up um and they got the antenna which actually i've got an extra one anyway but uh really sad to see a 1976 amc pacer in such good condition at the uh, wrecking yard Okay, so I spent a good chunk of the morning here uh, stripping the pacer. Uh, you can see some of the stuff I got off. I don't know what they're going to charge me. I got the radiator shroud uh, with the upper support. But usually when someone's pulled a radiator on one of these, this stuff's already missing. And on my blue 77 pacer, this uh, plastic shroud's completely wasted. As you can imagine, they're no longer available. So I grabbed that. The door panels were like in really good condition. Um, they're always sun baked over here, but they don't have holes in them. And these are like, like a unicorn to find these in any sort of shape that's usable. So I grabbed both. Unfortunately, someone grabbed the window cranks and on the second door panel, they actually uh, stripped it, but when the handle's on there, it should cover it up. So it should be okay to use, um, but it's pretty amazing to find a set of door panels. I can't get the back panels out because the back door is locked. So I think I'm gonna come out here with some AMC keys and see if I can wiggle it and get that, that rear deck open at some point. I um, also got the hood. Uh, the grill was a little messed up, but I think I can probably fix it and make it usable. I got the hood because my blue car has a smashed hood. Extra set of wheel covers because they were there and they were already off. And there was actually a center console, which these are actually pretty rare. Uh, and these are part of the uh, uh, door panels right here, these pieces. But uh, I actually got this, this right here, a center console. Someone already pulled the lock out of it for some reason, and they grabbed the ashtray. But these consoles are hard to find, so I'm going to grab that. And I also grabbed the radiator, even though it needs a recoil. I don't know what they're going to charge you for because it is copper, so they charge you a little extra. But these are AMC Pacer only, so I might as well have one extra just to, to stash, even though it's going to need a recoil if it's ever used. And I grabbed the, uh, the hood... Uh, the hood hinges because on my blue car it's smashed even though i think i've got it sold to my friend i got the one good remaining tail light lens which these are impossible to find and i've got uh, the, the the headlight surrounds so the two are actually still on the hood and then the lower ones 
were actually still in good shape. So I grabbed those. I grabbed the instrument cluster because why not have an extra one? And these are hard to find too. I grabbed the hood release cable, which they're always broken right here. They're always broken right there on the uh, where they mount to the dash. So I grabbed the whole cable and they also break up at the top. There's like a plastic piece that, uh, here, let me see if I can grab the camera. This little plastic thing here breaks and then you can't get your hood open. So I grabbed the, I pulled the whole thing out, including that, because actually on the blue, my blue car, uh, it's actually broken up here, but I do need that for the red car for, for mounting to the uh, dash. And I got an original AM radio. And you're probably wondering, why did I grab an AM radio? Well, my red Pacer wagon, according to the original window sticker, it left the factory with an AM radio. Um, now it's got a ballpunk cassette deck from the 80s, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna keep the original AM radio just in case in the future I ever wanna go back to the way it said it was on the uh, window sticker. So that's kinda what I got for this haul, and I'll probably be back for more stuff as well. Okay, so now it's Wednesday. I was actually out here on Sunday pulling parts off this pacer, so it's like about the only thing they did. Someone pulled the wing window, stuck it over there, uh, got the window open. Uh, someone already pulled the steering column. That was still there when I left. And somebody crawled in the back to get to the spare tire. I think they were trying to get the rear hatch open and to get the rear panels off. So it looks like they already started removing screws. That's actually what I came back for, to see if I get those those panels in the back because they're very hard to get. Uh, the rear door was actually locked, so I uh, I couldn't get in the back, unfortunately. So what I did was actually I grabbed the sets of keys from both my pacers. I'm gonna see if one of them, maybe I could jiggle it and get the lock to turn. If not, I'm gonna have to drill it out because I do wanna get those uh, panels back here because these along with the door panels are very, very hard to get. Um, and they, they're usually destroyed, especially on uh, cars that are in sunny areas. Looks like somebody pulled the uh, rear wheels off. Maybe they were trying to get the rear end out of it. Um, and other than that, it looks about the same as when I left. And then someone grabbed the uh, center of the steering wheel and left the actual steering wheel for some reason, um, but did take the steering column, which actually had a tilt column in it, which those are kind of hard to find. Um, but like I said, I can't pull everything off this car because I got to figure out what I need and what I think I'm going to need in the future because pick apart is, isn't exactly like super dirt cheap anymore. Um, so we're going to see, I'm going to see if I get that panel off, uh, get, or the uh, rear door open so I get the panels and uh, kind of go from there. Okay, so uh, day two of uh, stripping this pacer. Um, <laughs> I've actually got all the interior panels out and uh, all the hard to find ones at least. And I actually grabbed the uh, dash pad as well uh, because it was actually pretty minty. As you can imagine, they're kind of hard to come by as well. They don't reproduce those. Now I can actually get to the tail light assemblies, which I think is why the guy was trying to come through the back. I think he was actually trying to get to the tail light assemblies because they're actually, even though I already paid for that tail light the other day, now that I can get to it, I really should grab these assemblies because they're uh, they're both actually in really good condition. The chrome's not not messed up on them, uh, and there's the dash pad. Dash pad's in really good shape if you look at it. It's uh, it's not cracked or anything, so definitely something I want to have on the shelf just in case I need it in the future. And I got all the panels back here, so I'm actually gonna have to load these on a cart, go pay for them grab my socket set, come back out here, yank those uh, tail lights, and then I think that's about all I really need at this point off of this car. And uh, it's just sad to see them, uh, you know, this car wind up here at the pick apart, but at least I'm grabbing a lot of pieces and it'll, it'll help a lot of other pacers uh, live on in the future. All right, talk about lightning striking twice in one week. Uh, here's a 1975 AMC Pacer. So this is actually the second pacer to wind up in local yards in uh, less than a week. Um, I've actually got a thing uh, where, where they send me an email when they get an AMC pacer, and it never has sent me an email until this week when I got two emails. So this is a completely different yard, but it is a pacer. So I decided to go out there and see what was left on it, see if there's anything I can use for one of my cars. So it's got the uh, 258 straight six, which most pacers have, including the uh, two that are in my driveway. Unfortunately, the interior plastics on this are toasts. They were completely unusable and they were extremely brittle. So, uh, unfortunately, not savable. 
unfortunately, unlike the ones the ones on the cars you saw that I pulled off of the at the other yard. Um, coming around, I mean, this car in the pictures online, you can see it was somebody's parts car, and then they probably junked it after they got off what what they needed. Uh, the actual the the uh, driver's side uh, taillight lens is good on this car as it was on the other one. So I did pull that. This one's got a, a Beam Me Up Scotty bumper sticker for all you uh, Star Trek fans. Um, I mean, this one's a more deluxe model. This one actually was a DL model. So you see it's got the extra trim around the uh, taillight panel there. Um, and, I mean, realistically, there's still a lot of good parts on this. I actually came out here to get the wheels, which unfortunately were gone. I had the turbine wheels, which is what my uh, 77 Pacer DL wagon originally had. And I've got three good ones. I've got one that's bent, so that's unfortunately unfixable. So I'm, I've been just trying to track one down. So if I ever want to put mine back to stock and take the aftermarket wheels off, that I can. Um, like I said, both door panels completely shot. I'm, I'm sure the guy who, who parted this car out would have would have pulled those panels if, if they were any good, um, I would assume. Uh, and of course, you know, just really sad to see a 75 pre-smog pacer wind up in the yard, but... Obviously, it was somebody's parts car, and uh, I'm guessing they, they just got what they wanted and called pick a part to haul the rest of the uh, carcass away. But still some good parts for people to uh, pull what they need off of. Okay, so now I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got off this car. Not really a whole lot. I did get an armrest for my Cadillac out at the same yard, so it wasn't totally a waste of a trip because uh, those are kind of hard to find. But this one had the Dirge and Tour door handles. I got those. I got the uh, taillight lens, as I mentioned, and I got the headlight doors. Um, just stuff I could see myself needing in the future. And, I mean, realistically, there's still a lot of good stuff out here uh, for anyone uh, that may, might need parts. Okay, so we got some good stuff at the yards off of those uh, two pacers. Before anyone comments, uh, the lo yards locally, unfortunately, do not sell complete cars. So before anyone comments that I should have bought that uh, first pacer, uh, it just wasn't going to happen. They would not allow it. Uh, so, But fortunately, I did get a lot of good parts, and we were able to save other pacers and keep them on the road for years to come. Uh, if you like what you see, be sure to like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment uh, if you love pacers. All right, I'll see you guys next time.